Hey guys, welcome back to our channel guys. Thank you for coming back to watch our videos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. I'm Miss Mama D and I hope y'all are doing well. It's another hot day out in Accra, Ghana. It's that time of the year. We're out looking for schools guys. It's August the 8th and I gotta get my kids in school. I gotta get my kids in school. So we are in Accra, Ghana, but we are in a smaller town 30 minutes outside of the greater Accra. So we're in Pokuwase right now. So I'm looking for some schools for them in Pokuwase. Um, Pokuwase is maybe probably 10 minutes from where we live. 10 or 15 minutes, not very far. But anywho, we're looking for schools out in Ghana, international schools. Um, so Makai's going to grade 12, Xavier's going to grade 6. So we're just in the car, we're just here. We've got the three, we've got the three boys, you know, probably gonna put Prince into a little preschool. But today we're looking at school. So we're taking you all with us to go look for schools, guys. So I think the first school we're gonna go look at is called Peace. Peer Peace, Peace. I'm gonna put the name of the, the school at the bottom of the, of the, the screen. But um, anyways, guys, so I gotta drive. So when we get there, um, we'll let you know. Germany, can I, can I go down? It's so steep. Okay guys, so apparently the school is closed for vacation. So they want they open up again tomorrow. So we gotta come back tomorrow. So this is Silicon Valley uh, International School. It's still early, we, we're gonna go check out another school. Um, it's called Pierre City International School. Um, but we will go check it out just to see where it's at. But what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go to Progressive um, International School and check them out. They close at five, so we still have some time before it closes. So we'll let you know when we get there. Hey guys, we're back. It is the next day. So yesterday was a total fail. Everywhere we went was closed. Um, yeah, we didn't know where we were going. We got so lost. So we're back. Say, say what's up to our YouTube family. Say hi. hi. Say hi. thanks for watching our, thanks for coming back to watch our video. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, we're you're saying hi to the YouTube family. Yeah. Say how are you? Good. No, you're supposed to ask them how they're doing. Don't say good. Ask them how they're doing. Say how are you? Good. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's go. Okay, so the first school we're gonna go to, guys, is Silicon Valley. So that's the school we went to yesterday that um their registration they their their registration was closed yesterday and it, they apparently it opens up today from eight until two so it's now about one o'clock the place is literally 15 maybe 15 minutes away sit friend sit it's about 15 minutes away so that's where we're gonna go first So I want to take a little tour of the school to kind of see what the school looks like. Yeah. You want to go on the slide? Yeah. I'm going to talk. So they don't have space for Makai, they don't have space for you. But they have space for you though. Um, and the school fees are 3,000 Ghana cities a term. And there's three terms. So 3,000 Ghana cities, that's a lot. Holy, those all here are expensive. And um, so she said that we should go to, a, she said we should go to a next school up, up the street. Okay, let's go. She recommended Priceline. 
and the bus stop like they didn't they the the bus stop that she said they pick up at is uh, not too far from our house but that area to get up there is a lot of traffic especially a lot of traffic especially in the morning so i don't know we're gonna go check out chrysland community school that's literally, literally she said that we could see it from here hopefully we don't pass it chrysland community school yeah so this is it right here um admissions can i have it yeah right here so this is the school guys excuse me we want to come inside are they open are you the security guard are they doing registration now on okay. okay. Right. Yes. But you can come back and see her back tomorrow. But will she be here tomorrow? Yes, please. So, no luck here. Apparently, the school goes up to grade 8. And the person that's doing the admissions is not even here today, anyway. So, oh, they recommended another school. I don't know. Like, this is like on like a wild goose chase, like all over the place. And, um, yeah, look at finding a school for Makai is becoming more difficult than I thought. Finding a school for Xavier is pretty easy. You know, Xavier's going to grade six, and everywhere we go, it seems they seem to have his age, his grade. But in terms of high school, it's, it's just like I don't know what to say. So I'm gonna go and um, turn back around, turn back around, and um, yeah what happens wish me luck guys so we decided just to stop and um, get Xavier's eyes checked because he broke his glass he broke his glasses yesterday so So we just got Xavier's eyes checked and now we're just gonna go and check out one more. We're gonna go check out. Um, apparently there's some a lot of schools around here, but they're all like so hidden. But um I'm trying to understand the system here in Ghana. So they gave they checked his eyes and I asked for the prescription. And they do not provide you the prescription, they will provide you the the lens. They said the lens. They will provide you the lens. They will fill the lens for you. And then you will take the lens somewhere else to get the frame. Or you can buy. Hungry? Okay. You want chicken? Yeah. Oh my God. Don't you get tired of eating chicken? Makai was asking how they do the eye test. They do the eye test like how they do it in anywhere else. Pardon me? They do the eye test like how they do it anywhere else. You know, they cover your eyes, you have to read the wall to see if you can see the letters, which Xavier was really struggling with. Huh? Let's, let's just go to Roca quickly and then find out if their admissions and find out what they do. It's literally just up the street. But I want to check out that school that's in there. They close at five? I think so. Even Prince fell asleep. Like Prince is not having it. It's just, it's so hard. It's been very difficult to find a school. Um, oh, I didn't even mention in the last school we went to, Roku, Roku Roka, Roka International. They also start school. They also they're they're in their last semester, so the new year is gonna start in January. So, it seems like all the schools here in Ghana, most like. Their, full, their school year starts in January. So that's the problem we're having right now with getting these guys in school is the fact that the school starts in January. And it's like, these guys can't stay home until January just so they can start with the rest of the kids here. Because these guys are not, they'll drive me crazy. Um, 
so I don't know what to do. Like, so my my there's a guy that there's a guy that's working on my mom's house, a really close family friend of ours. Um, that says he's gonna bring us to two schools tomorrow morning. He knows the coordinator of one of the schools. So maybe we we'll, we can speak to him and somehow he can work something out for us that we can get these guys to start school in September. But it will be weird because everybody will be on their last, like everyone is basically on their last term, last semester, about to go on their vacation. And these guys will be coming in, trying to start fresh. So the, 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 the curriculum will be off. You know, the curriculum will be really off. So I don't know what to really do guys. Um, comment in the comment section if you guys have any suggestions on what to do like do we just wait until january we just put them in have any of you guys face this like come into a new country come into africa anywhere wherever trying to get your kids in an international school like the timelines being different like of course we start school in september in, in the west and they start school in january out here has anybody else experienced this like what do you what do i do what do you suggest that we do at Xavier? Just wait till January to go to get into school? Yep. Then what are you going to do from now till January? Play games all day. My new glasses. That's the thing. We, we can't hear my eyes. We can't have you doing that for the next, like, five months. That five months, September, October, November, December, January. Five months. So we just we just ordered some chicken with some wings at this new pizza spot here at Three Junction. Anyways, guys, so we're gonna be back out, back. We're gonna be back at it again tomorrow morning. We'll let you. We'll keep you guys posted. We'll let you guys know how this school hunt is going. I'm getting stressed, guys. I have a headache. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I just this is, this is a lot harder than what I thought it would be. Um, but hopefully we have some, we have better luck tomorrow and we can get these guys enrolled. Like once I get these guys enrolled in school, I know I got them in school. I can like relax, I can sleep, but the fact that they're not in school is giving me a little bit of anxiety tomorrow. I probably won't do a lot of vlogging tomorrow. Um, but I will show you guys something in school tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Day number three of looking for school. So today we're going to go looking for schools with a good family friend of ours, Mr. Jemphy. <laughs> so he's taking us to go look at some schools in and around the area. So he's been working on my mom's house. He does all the fixing, all the electrical, no, not electrical, plumbing, Drumbing, carpentry plumbing. stuff. Um, what else do you do? Painting. Painting. <laughs> so every, he does everything, guys. So if you're looking for somebody to work on your house, paint, carpentry, fix stuff, whatever you guys need, Hit up Mr. Jemphy, okay? I'll leave his number in the description below. See the wisdom. So this is the first school that we stopped at right now. Our Lady of our Seat of Wisdom. Inside. Okay, we just came from that school, and um, that's an elementary school. They also start in January. So the school fees are a little bit cheaper. School fees are about five thousand Ghana cities. The other ones are like nine thousand, ten thousand Ghana cities. Um, so we're gonna go look for an elementary school for, I mean, a high school for Makai. I feel like all the schools we've been to, they've all been elementary schools. So we're gonna go look at some high schools. I think I've seen enough schools, enough elementary schools, and I think I could. I think I know what elementary school I'm gonna put um, Xavier in. It's a little bit far, but it's the one we looked at yesterday. Um, so the Valley, I kind of like that school. School, the fees are a little bit high for that school, but I like that school. 
So anyways, we're going to look at another school. So it looks like we got lost. We got lost. We end up here. Don't know where we are. I don't even think the driver knows where we are. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just gonna call it a day we're gonna call it a day and we're gonna hit the road we'll resume we will resume searching for schools well, that's a nice house over there with all the different color bricks but we will resume another day all right guys back at it again so just got ready uh, we're about to leave out again. Back at looking for schools again for these guys. Looking for schools for in Ghana for your kids is super stressful. You done your baba? So Prince is on his baba. Okay, gotta put your shoes on. We gotta go. Uh oh. Gotta give him medicine for that cough. But um, I took a little break. We took a little break from looking for schools. Like Kelly Kay was getting ready to go back to Toronto, Canada. So we took a little break, went around doing things with Tay with Kelly K. Yeah. He's yeah. gone now. He's been gone for a few days. So I'm back at looking for schools for these guys. It's already September. Okay. And I was getting so much mixed information about schools in Ghana. They were saying schools and school season started in January. Come to find out that the school season starts in August. Why didn't anybody tell me this last month when I was looking around for schools? Why didn't anyone tell me that last month? Everybody was like, oh, school starts in January for the kids. But that wasn't even the case. Like, that... Y'all, you, if, you're, if you're a parent looking for school for your child, an international school, it's going to be very difficult and very pricey. So we just found this school. It's called the American International School. It's, I believe it's in Cantonment, Cantonment in Accra. Um, we're going to go there right now. The fees are so expensive. Um, it's in American dollars for Makai. He's going to grade 12. They said online, it said their fees are 15,000 US dollars. For Xavier, he's going to grade six. His fees are 12,000. So I said to her, is there any way we can work out these fees? Because these fees are a little pricey. Because I am not American, I'm Canadian. When you convert 15,500 or whatever it was into Amer Canadian dollars, that's 20 grand a year for one child. That's 20 grand. That's madness. But anyways, guys, so we're about to leave now. So I'll be leaving right now. So we'll see you in a bit. I want to go to the school. Yeah, the school. Can I park? Can I park over here? Okay, okay we've arrived at the school, guys. American International School. All right, let me see if I can back park. Go, do this. This is a really nice school. I'm not sure where we're going. Very nice place here. Go here, reception. Let's go here. Okay, guys, let's see how it goes. application form for the school it's got the application so I'm gonna go home and look at it and I think I'm gonna enroll my kids in this school it's super expensive but I think it's worth it though I love hey it guys, so we're back at it again so we're at the Ghana International School right here guys it took us about an hour to get here from where we live this is probably gonna be the ninth school that we have 
went to to get these guys in school so we're gonna go inside and check it out right now when we come out we'll let you guys know um what they say we looked up the school online and it seems like everybody pretty much loves this school so let's go check it out so we'll let you know how it goes okay stay soon January and April, perfect. Okay, let's go check it out. So we're at the Canadian International School here. It didn't things didn't work out at the Ghana International School. I will speak more about that in another video, but um, or later on in this video, I'll speak more about that. But it didn't work out. We got directed here to the Canadian International School, so we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see what happens. But basically, in a nutshell, it didn't work out at the Ghana International School because of the curriculum. Um, for grade 12, they basically is broken up into two years. There's upper and lower level of grade 12. So in order for Makai to complete grade, to grade 12, you'd have to do two years of grade 12. Anywho, so we're here. We're going to go check it out and we'll keep you guys posted. College of Ghana so we got some pamphlets here um, we, got, we got the application to register the fees are a little bit less than um, the American school was um, I actually like the school because it's really good they have all the programs and courses that like Makai and Xavier need especially that what Makai needs for graduation um, so we're just gonna go home and we're gonna think about it. Makai's not really feeling this camp, this school because um, it's really, really small. Their, their class sizes are probably at max. She said about maybe 14 or 15. Really small class size. Some of them could be as small as seven or eight students. Um, but we're gonna go home and think about it. You know, we've gotta consider the courses. We gotta consider the fees. We gotta consider the distance. Even at this school here, um, Xavier and Makai would be on the same compound, same campus because they start from grade six to grade 12 here. And that works out perfect so i don't have to put them in t two different schools um but we're gonna home and discuss we'll let you guys know what school we decide all right guys don't go nowhere so we're at silicon valley guys we're here because xavier has to complete his entry exam so he came here a couple days ago to do the entry exam it was long and tedious and he didn't get a chance to finish so we're here for him to complete the exam he literally has probably like maybe five or maybe like ten questions left and then he gets his marks once he gets his marks once he passes apparently you have to pass to get into the school if you don't pass I don't know why it matters. He's only in elementary school, but anyways, guys, we're here at the school, Silicon Valley. So we'll let you know how he, how his the final exam goes, what his final marks are, and if he passes and everything goes well, God willing, he will start school tomorrow. Cause school actually starts today, which is like September 13th. But they're in their last, they're in their last term though. But either way, school last term starts today, so they're back in their, they're back, their last term. 
So hopefully we get uniforms today, we get a schedule, and so on and so forth. Right, X? So today we are going to, uh, I want to say register Xavier for school. I want to say register, but I'm afraid to say that word. So we're going back to another school that we found. We found the school on Friday. It is now Monday morning. It's about 9, 15 in the morning. So we're supposed to go back to the school and get him, I hope, registered. There's supposed to be an admission test that is supposed to be waived. I'm gonna get into all those details uh, later on. I'm going to make a full video explaining the details of the just the requirements to enroll your child in a in a school here in Ghana, especially in a in and it's crazy because it's anyways. So I'm gonna talk about that in a whole nother video, guys. Anyway, so. We are on our way. The kids are in the car. I just came back to get my purse, to get my phone. And when we get there, um, don't go nowhere. We'll... It's been a long journey, guys. Trying to get Xavier in school has been a mission here in Ghana. <laughs> like, guys, you don't understand. Like, for those of you guys who have children that are trying to come to Ghana, oh, gosh, please do your research. Please ask questions. Find out before y'all come because it's a mission. So anyways, we're off and we're already a bit late. Well, not late, but I don't want to be late. So anyways, so I'm going to just be showing you guys a new school and just taking a little tour of the school and just taking you on what happens. Hopefully this what? is the last school I'm going to have to go to because this is like probably the 10th school I try to get Xavier in. So wish us luck, guys. Wish us luck because boy are we ever going to need it today so it's a very very nice school it's literally 10 minutes from our house so it's perfect because xavier um not xavier's because makai school is over an hour away so i have to have i gotta so i have makai so makai has a driver that comes and gets him at 6 30 in the morning and um yeah so i don't want to have to pay for another driver i'd rather just have I, I rather just find a school which is close by that I can just drop him off in the morning or if there's even a bus system where he can take the bus. So anyways guys, don't go nowhere. We're gonna take you to the school and show you. guys thank you for watching our video these are the 10 schools we visited if you'd like to know more about these schools in full detail please come back for the part two of this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one god bless y'all